Okay, so how much are the supplements in this vending machine? Okay, I could buy... They're pretty cheap. Huh. Okay, so... That's significantly better than buying them at a at uh, Winden. So that was, that was a pretty good investment, I think. Uh, what were the the things you can get in here? Packable ingredients. Moo Moo cheese. Interesting. Okay. Fruit bunch. Uh, one of the main ingredients to be used for cooking at your camp. The syrupy fruits give us a strong tropical feel. What else is in here? You can just pick them multiple times. I'll just I'll just do those. I don't want to take too many. I don't know if there's like a mechanic for that. What do you say now? One day, I'd like to be as strong, or I'd like to be strong like you. Really? That's that's it. That's the end of your character arc. All right, fine. Um, let's go talk to Mustard, because I still haven't talked to Mustard. Dear God. What's this? What's this? Let's see how you and, and Kung Fu are getting along. Uh, good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Kung Fu's really become more confident. How wonderful. I dare say I think you're both ready. Uh, follow me, you two. Alright, so he's going to tell us about the towers now, I imagine. Okay. I like how, I like how they look at each other. That's cute. Dum dum dee dee la la dee da. He's weird. Just a big weirdo. Phew. I guess this is as good a spot as any. Now then, Hero and Cub Fu, if you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Cub Fu. Prepare yourself for the Towers of Two Fists. Okay. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters. And the red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of the two towers. Kung Fu's fighting style will, ch will change depending on the tower you choose, and the type it gets when it when and the type it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up Kung Fu properly before trying to climb up. You can reach both of the towers by heading through the Forest of Focus. You might even be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bike across the river. I'm looking forward to when you two make it to the top of one of those towers. It's going to be so exciting. Okay, level up Cub Fu properly. I imagine that probably means, since I'm post-game, he needs to be roughly level 60, which I can do very, very easily. There we go. Beautiful. And uh, I, I know a little bit about this. I know that it's like a new limited style of battling. I can use only Cub Fu. I think I can still have the other Pokemon with me. It just excludes them from the battle. Which I'm curious about. I'm curious, does that mean that they will still get experience? Or will Cub Fu be the only one who gets experience? Or does anyone even get experience from this style of battle. I'm not sure. It's super interesting. I'm really looking forward to this. This is like the main lure of this DLC. Getting Cub Fu. Where is he? Hi Cub Fu. Getting Cub Fu and then going through one of the towers to evolve him. And while I do know that it's a limited battle style that only involves him, I, I know literally nothing else about it. I need another Galerica Twig. That's another thing I got more of when I was doing the montage thing at the previous, at the beginning of the previous episode. Um, but I'm pretty sure I still only have like seven out of the eight that I need. And I do definitely, what is this? Zinc. Interesting. Hey, it's Hamtaro. Um, I'm like pretty sure. I still only have the seven, 7 or the 8 that I need, and I'd really like to evolve Slowpoke before my playthrough of the DLC is done, since he's like the premier DLC Pokemon. Okay. There's lots of Pelipers around here. 
I do like this area a lot. It looks very cool. There's something I meant to try that I'll have to wait until after we're done here to try. It's cool looking. Okay. Talky talky. Hello, hero. My master has already sent word. This is the Tower of Waters. It's a special training ground for, that only Cubfu can use. If you want to climb the tower, please make sure that Cubfu is the only Pokemon on your team. Oh, okay, so it, it... Okay. Didn't mean to talk to you again. So I do have to put everybody in the PC. That's kind of annoying. Just go to an empty box, it doesn't matter. And just dump everybody in there. Okay. Yeah, I know. You already said that. Ooh, level 70. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna actually level it a little bit more. Real quick, only have a second. There we go. All right, cool. Uh, this is the Tower of Waters. It's a training ground where Cubfu will learn the true essence of water. If you raise Cubfu to at least level 70, his training will go smoothly. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until you best five opponents or are defeated yourself. And what's more, the tower you didn't choose will be closed to you forever. And now, do you wish uh, to forsake the path of darkness and follow the path of water? I do. Remember, there will be no turning back once you've made your choice. Make sure, are you make hard the little You got tongue tied there for a second. Are you sure you want to climb the Tower of Waters? I'm sure. I can tell your heart is set. The best of luck to you. Like normally hero would go for darkness, but I've said before, I think the like multi-hit style or whatever it's called is more interesting sounding. And rain falls become a river, and the river will eventually flow into the ocean. And as such is the great cycle of water, it will swallow you whole. No, we won't. Water doesn't swallow people. Animals do, and some plants. Uh, Master Dojo student. Psyduck. So is it just going to be water types? Because I gave Cubfu Thunder Punch to handle flying types. But, I mean, that'll work on, on water types, too. So Hit it. Yep. All right. I think it's me and Cubfu are such good buddies. Um, we'll have liter little interactions between each other through this whole thing, which I think is cute. I've been swallowed whole by your great strength. Look how excited she looks. Everybody, everybody is so nice. All the dojo people are so nice. Impressive. You, you can now proceed to the second floor. I like the design of this place too. I wish I could rotate, so I could I could look at the design on that better. This is like this is such a cool looking location, isn't it? Look at it. All right, let's go. Come on, Kubfu. I hope it's not just one po Pokemon per floor. That'd be boring. In a round cup, water becomes round. In a square teapot, it becomes square. Water is adaptable. Change form to match the opponent. Prepare to drown in its power. See, that's more accurate to what water might do to a person. Drown them. Krabby. Okay. Is this also his only guy? Yes, it is. Okay. Is it really just going to be five battles? That's kind of boring. Okay. I did not get the chance to adapt. This is, this is way easier than I expected to be. I probably could have done this at level 60. Okay. You coming, man? Let's go. So slow. Hurry up. If I hadn't given him a Thunder Punch, this would be more difficult. So I'm actually gonna gonna save just in case I screw up real bad, and then um, try to win these without using friggin' Thunder Punch. Make it a little more interesting. Main drop or raindrops? It said I said main drops, guys. Raindrops may be small and weak on their own, but a torrent of rain can grind rocks to dust. Yep, that is how erosion works. And you have the willpower to withstand the relentless torrent of my raindrops. I'm gonna say, yeah, probably. 
Meryl. Interesting. It's a little more dangerous to Cub Fu. And actually one that I should definitely probably use non-fighting type moves on, but sure. I will do the thing I said and try not to use Thunder Punch. Okay. That's so cool. Cub Fu's pretty great. Uh, let's bulk up now a couple times. Switch to a different move. That's a little frightening. Slam. Okay. Cub Fu, you're great. Just, just FYI. Alright, its attack will be doubled at this point, which is nice. Slam again. Slam has low accuracy anyway. And I'm double. Uh, my defense is doubled too, so. I should be fine. Nice. Landed a critical hit, wishing to be praised. Cub Fu, you're great. I love it. Okay. Are there going to be any, like, evolved Pokemon? Each one of your raindrops hit, like, a Hydro Pump. Any evolved Pokemon here at all? Impressive. You can now proceed to the fourth floor. Alright, cool. I shall do that. Come on, Cub Fu. Hurry up, man. Oh, god dang it. Okay. The water will freeze and harden when cold or evaporate and fly through the air when hot. Water changes its form and even its name on a whim. Can you contain it? Yes, with a container. Especially if it's just ice. Ice is easy to contain. You just pick it up and hold it. Okay, finally an evolved guy. Still not what I'm super worried about, but sure. Okay. Um, let's, let's bulk up once first this time. Uh, so my defense will be up a little bit while I'm setting up focus. Um... Whatever the name of that move is. Oh my god. Focus energy. Dear fucking god. Okay, it's not gonna help you, bud. Yeah, Kaioken! And one more bulk up, just for the fun of it. That's a little annoying. Passive damage always sucks. I should have this, though, I think. Still. About half. Which is annoying. Ah, god dang it. This is actually not a bad move set. Whirlpool and, and Protect. I mean, it's not toxic in Protect. On like, on like an like a super bulky guy or something, but it's still pretty good. It looks like Whirlpool, and what did he use before? Mud Bomb or whatever. Might be his only offensive moves though. Yeah. Okay. So because its friendship is up, and this is a battle in which this applies, its critical hit ratio is already higher than usual. And then I'm also using Focus Energy. Your strength does not yield to cold or heat. It's not what you asked me. Is that what you were supposed to be proving there? Impressive. You can now proceed to the top floor. He is waiting for you there. Okay, um, I'm going to go in and heal real quick. Um, what do I have new? Oh, Gentle Mint, mint which I also found during all that stuff. that All, all that exploring. I do have eight Glarica Twigs. Okay. I thought I only had seven. I have eight Glarica Twigs, so... We'll go evolve Slowpoke next. Um, first, though, let's use... Where are those, those drinks I bought? Let's just use these up, because why not? Uh, Soda Pop 2. It's not exactly healthy, but, you know. There we go. Max power. Good. I bought just enough drinks to do it. Fantastic. Come on, buddy. Hurry up. Alright, now who's up here? 
Yeah, okay, I figured. Figured it was mustard. How did you know which do which uh, which tower I was going to come to? Now, there you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Waters, so I decided to wait for you here. Uh, hero, Kubfu, you've both done well to get this far. Yeah, your final opponent is little old me. Yeah, it's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. Okay. Uh, a stream too clear is avoided by fish, Pokemon. Uh, we all need some darkness in ourselves. Uh, let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of water. Okay. Ooh. He's going all Master Roshi on me. I like his his outfit. That's cool. He's got the same symbol on it that, that Leon had on his clothes. That's neat. Yeah, I'll need to get serious if I am to take you on. That's for sure. Uh, own your senses now and let this battle sharpen you. Show me how you can grow. Okay. Uh, bulk up. Are we faster? We're faster, okay. Bulk up so I can take hits better, and then I'll set up focus energy. Just use, use the same strategy as last time. Watch closely, hero. This is what Cub Fu's fists are truly capable of. Aerial Ace, shoot. Okay. Um. Focus energy. Then I'll probably use Hyper Potion. I don't know. Oh no, he didn't attack again. Okay. I should have this then. Am I consistently faster than him, or are we speed tying? We shouldn't be speed tying, because I gave speed EVs to my cup field. So I should just be faster than him. Okay. Beautiful. That's exactly what I'm going to use. Yeah! Uh, it didn't knock it out, though. Because he has a... F uh, okay. Brick break again. Yikes. Yikes. Thunder punch. Let's end this. Whew. Very nice, though. That was a very close battle, and I enjoyed it a lot. Very cool. Defeated Dojo Master Mustard. Look at it. It's got so much personality now. Uh, you young folk grow so fast, it never ceases to amaze me. A decent coin for winning. What a team. Impressive. Most impressive. Yeah. You can see the symbol better now. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> I knew you were worthy of my trust, hero. You've done well, very well indeed, in raising Cub Fu to this level of strength. Leon was once my best student a long time ago. He, too, attempted this trial. But he never made it to either tower. He got lost along the way. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> now it's finally time for Cub Fu to evolve. And go and show Cub Fu the scroll of waters. Cub Fu is ready now. Alright, you, you, you good with this, buddy? You ready? Come on. Do I want to show Cub Fu the scroll of waters and have it evolve? Yeah. Here we go. What? Cub Fu is evolving. Cub Fu evolved into Urshifu.
It's believed that this Pokemon modeled its fighting style on the flow of a river, sometimes rapid, sometimes calm. Which is very cool. Like, I'm a pretty big, powerful guy, so if I ended up taking martial arts again, I'd probably be like, like a single hit style guy. You know, that's probably how I'd end up fighting. But this is how I'd like to fight. I'd like to fight with a style more close to this, something more subtle. Which is the main reason I ended up going for this, I think, probably. Look at his stance, though, too. Like, the two Urshifu designs, at least as far as I could, could tell at a glance, I haven't really looked at them next to each other all that much. They aren't all that different, but their stances are very different, and I like that a lot. Wants to learn Surging Strikes. This is his signature move, um, which is nutso insane, man. Um, <laughs> the user having mastered the water style strikes the target with a flowing motion three times in a row. This attack always results in a critical hit. And he has the ability Unseen Fist, too, which we'll talk about in a minute. Ta-da! Focus energy. Because I don't need focus energy anymore if he's always going to get critical hits with that move, right? And behold, before you stands Arshifu. Sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter, shatter any blade turned against it. And it has mastered the style of water. You look great, buddy. Ah, you've certainly grown, haven't you? And I think not too long ago, you would have run and hid behind me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Hero, Arshifu. And I thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who has faced me when I was taking the battle seriously. League card, neat. I'll have to go look at the league cards too in a minute. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. No, Urshifu's just chilling with us. How cool. You have such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. What, for Leon to be dethroned? I already took care of that, buddy. I imagine that's probably what he's talking about, right? Okay, so we are back. I never did see what these guys were for. Let's talk to them real quick. Berries, okay. Sells berries. I uh, love to cook. And he has various ingredients, okay. That makes sense. And what do you do? A what trader, okay. Nothing super interesting. I could have gotten standard healing items from here, though, so that's something. All right. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, welcome back, hero. It looks like you've been hard at work keeping up, keeping up your training here at the dojo, eh? Ha, what are you doing here? Surprise and nicely done, hero. That's just the reaction I was hoping for. I'm here on the island of Arbor to research more about the Dynamax phenomenon. So I hear that you two are friends. How delightful. Uh, Hoppykins here was just asking my permission to camp out on the Isle of Armor. Uh, but where's the fun in mucking around in the mud? I was telling him he should stay here at the dojo. I mean, it'd be loads easier than camping out for a while, for, for a long while. Uh, but wouldn't I be in the way? Everybody's welcome to wear it. Everybody's welcome to wear out their welcome at the Master Dojo. Don't be shy, my boy. Besides, we're practically family already. You're the little brother of our Leon, after all. Yeah, it's true. We did train here when he was, or when we were both kids. All right then, Master Mustard, you've twisted my arm. I hope you don't regret it, because I'm staying. Woo! The more the merrier. I'm pleased as punch in a gold-plated punch bowl. Which reminds me, Hero, I've got something I've been meaning to tell you about Cubfu, or really its evolution, Urshifu. The truth is, the lovable rascal is capable of Gigantamaxing, too. But it's a bit tricky, because it really can't stand the taste of Max Mushrooms. So Max Soup is off the menu, unless you can make it more appealing to it. There's a certain something you can find here on the Isle of Armor, though, that'll make even Urshifu gobble up a bowl of Max Soup. And that certain something is... That certain something is... That certain something is actually... This suspense is killing me. 
Actually, I've forgotten what it is. Oopsie doopsie. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> uh, you're even more fun to tease than your brother ever was. Uh, that certain something uh, I'm thinking of is sure to make Max Soup more palatable to Urshifu. And it has something to do with another Pokemon. Uh, now, I think I'll let the two of you figure out just what it is. Uh, give it a good think together. You're on your own, kiddos. The world is your cloister. Uh, so get cracking. Alright, sure. We'd like to actually know what it is, though. Is this, uh, how your training usually goes? I've really got no rap dash in this race, but even I'm pretty curious about uh, that certain something. I think I read something about Urshifu in a book once, too. It's the Wushu Pokemon, right? The book said it lives in the mountains in some far-off region. And does it, really? Huh, you didn't know? Don't you have one, hero? But yeah, I think I read that Urshifu is absolutely mad for some kind of sticky honey. Hero! Honey is made from the nectar of flowers and plants, right? So maybe we need nectar made by some Pokemon that looks like flowers and plants. And if you're looking for those kinds of Pokemon, then I'd reckon there might be a lot in a forest. I'll be able to look in Dynamaxing along the way, so count me in for some exploration. There's a forest past the big marshland, right? Bet I can still beat you there. I am really glad he's back in the story. Like, so glad I missed him a lot. Alright, let's go.